What a 25% EU food tariff could mean. Surprisingly, no one was talking about or reporting on a decade-plus dispute between the U.S. and the European Union that, according to the Federal Register, certain member states have breached their World Trade Organization obligations by providing subsidies on the manufacture of large civil aircraft and by failing to withdraw the subsidies or remove their adverse effect. It is basically a fight between U.S. aircraft manufacturers, including Boeing and Airbus, whose main civil airplane business is based in France, with production and manufacturing facilities in France, Germany, Spain, the U.K., China, and the U.S. Starting October 18th, the Trump administration placed a 25% import tariff on $7.5 billion worth of foods and beverages from the European Union. The list of over 400 products includes foods like cheeses, olives, coffees, fruit, pastas, pork, wines, liquors, jam, seafood and fish, olive oil and yogurt, to name just a few. Staples that most of your shoppers have in their kitchens and enjoy on a regular basis. It is the imported food supply chain that would be the most disruptive to the factories that produce the products in the EU, the shipping companies, the importers, the distributors, the grocery retailers and restaurants, and obviously to the consumer. They will all be affected by lost revenue, lost jobs, and a loss of products that simply will find its way to other consumers in other countries. I spoke with Phil Marfugi, CEO of the Ambriola Company, a leading importer of Italian cheeses, who also serves as the president of the Cheese Importers Association of America, who told me there could be up to 20,000 jobs here in the U.S. that could be affected when these tariffs are imposed. Marfuji went on to explain that many of the imported foods are not the kind of foods that can be replaced by domestic production. Certain foods, by law, can only be produced in certain regions, like Champagne in France and my beloved Pecorino Romano from Italy. He also said that 90 to 95 percent of the cheeses imported from the EU are on this list. The trade relationship between the U.S. and the EU is robust. The EU is the number one export market for the U.S., which last year spent $318.6 billion worth of goods to its 28 member countries, 19.1% of total exports in 2018. Last year, the U.S. imported nearly $488 billion worth of goods from the EU, accounting for 19.2% of the total U.S. imports. The World Trade Organization should focus on fixing the inequities in the aerospace dispute and not punish other industries, especially food, that are totally unrelated.